Morning everyone. Morena. Kia ora. This is Steph Parasha, Divine Light, coming out to you from New Zealand, Aotearoa. A beautiful morning here on the 15th of August, Sunday. It's like quarter past seven, half past seven in the morning. This is Kapiti Island. This is the beautiful place that I am so blessed to live. Just walked like basically two minutes from my house. I'm here and bringing you a video update, an energy update around the current energy themes at the moment and also a little bit of information about my personal journey, my Twin Flame experience for those of you that follow me particularly for the Twin Flame content and yeah but if you're not in a Twin Flame it may be relevant to you anyway because it's all about relationships, Twin Flames and healers are focusing on very similar things anyway relationships mental health trauma healing emotional intelligence intimacy consciousness awakening evolving ascending all of these things self-love so here we are on my sunday morning walk um, those of you that can't get out and about Come with me and I come down here on a Sunday morning and if you can get out and about, make sure you try and go for a walk wherever you can near water or in nature. Hopefully you have some kind of nature near you that you can go down and help to heal and cleanse and get grounded. So as I was walking down, I was hearing the words claim your space. So the last few weeks I've been working a lot around, there's a lot of, been a lot of emotional stuff, eh? We're between two Aquarius full moons right now. So there's a bit of a squish emotionally. To me, it feels like we're in a bit of a sandwich. And we're getting pushed out those energies that really are old beliefs that we really, really need to let go of now. And really, they're starting to become clearer to our sort of the buried ones that maybe we were just so buried, those beliefs, that they just became who we are and we forgot that they were something that was a program that we were, we were taught to believe but we don't have to believe that anymore and it's because it's so layered in every fiber of our being it can be quite hard to recognize that belief so that's starting to become clearer now i was talking to some people in my workplace about that who were brought up as catholics and that the layers that they have to dismantle around their beliefs anyway and then the other stuff is um oh it's totally gone out of my head but while i'm thinking of it i'll tell you about the interaction that i had with my twin flame uh on friday today's sunday so we have been trying to sort of catch each other for a while now for a phone call and it hasn't really happened but finally on friday we actually managed to have a phone call so I had finished work and as soon as we just connected, you know, as soon as we heard each other's voices, I could just feel this kind of click of, it just felt like home and peace and calm and, you know, we just vibed into this place of just peace, you know, I can't even, it's hard to describe it, but I think you'll know it, um, yeah, if you have experienced it. So. So we were in this kind of little sort of zone while we were chatting. We we're having a general chat about this and that, you know, just like what we've been up to, some of the decisions that he's having to make around his job and um, what he's doing with his music at the moment and you know, just general stuff. And a little bit about his he's got a current partner and I don't want to give too much away on here because it's too much detail. Um, but anyway, while we were talking, we, we sort of got into the conversation and we were having a nice time. And, and then she must have arrived when he was talking to me, which was at his house. And then I felt like the energy drop. And within five minutes, we were off the call. You know, and here we haven't even got yet to the part where he would ask him how I was doing. <laughs> so I got to hear how he was doing and then the next part would be us talking about you know everything and then we'd share. And anyway what I did notice was how comfortable we are when we're talking with each other and how just nice it feels to be in his company and 
the description I would have of it, it feels like butter. <laughs> it's soft and it's smooth and it's just so good. <laughs> and it was just so nice, you know. So I just wanted to kind of hope those of you that do feel energy and sense energy can sense into what I'm trying to describe about the energy of my children. So anyway, so the girlfriend came in, the partner, and I could just see it. So I just said, hey, look, I'll let you guys get on with your evening and we'll check another time. Dot, dot, dot. And then we sort of started talking about something else for a bit and I could just feel that his energy was already gone. So that was that. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to mention that. I don't know why. I don't know why. And yeah, uh, the one thing that I've started this week, which I'm really enjoying, I don't know if some of you have these, these things already, but there's an app out there that I've been using and I'm not a salesperson or one of those influencers. This is purely just a recommendation on something I found useful. So there's an app called I Am and it's basically, you can set it to how many affirmations you want a day, but you can and choose the type of the affirmations you want. Uh, yeah, I should have got a really an example of one, but basically, you know, um, I am loving all the parts of myself that I find hard to accept. You know, that might be one affirmation. And you can set it to like 10 affirmations a day, or um, I am um, open to receiving healthier relationships. Um, you know, so, and then you can do the backgrounds for them and save them and use them as images and memes. And, so I'm really enjoying this app. Um, yeah, I really think it's important to create those new neural pathways as we are releasing the old. We're looking at what old beliefs we've been holding on to that have been harmful to us and others. Recognizing those now, and the only thing we need to do with them is to let them go and just keep on moving, keep on moving forward. And the other part of that, when we let go, is we create some new space about some beautiful new space for you to come in and our new manifestations where we can think what would it look like if I took myself to that next level what would it be like if I felt that I could achieve something more or have something more what would that look like how would it feel and you bring in that new energy to that space so this is what this time is all about is the sandwich I feel between the moons is because right now I believe we're in the new moon my understanding uh, is that the first Aquarius full moon represents thought and beliefs that are now considered outdated and the middle bit is the processing around that generationally and how that feels for different generations ages and people that have been on this earth for some time obviously finding it harder to let go and less aware and relationships at the moment we'll be you know seeing inside relationships how we're behaving it mirrors how we're behaving in relation to others what be really mindful at the moment about what is in this middle phase what am I thinking what am I believing Maybe try and do some journaling at this time. Write down your thoughts. Get them into order and look at what you need to let go of. Maybe this is a time to do a little ceremony where you maybe light a fire or write something on paper and then throw it in maybe in the ocean as long as it's biodegradable, not plastic, of course. And uh, you let that go and then you create a new piece of paper on which you write all of the things that you would like to have in your life. And you claim that. So I'm bringing you over to this estuary because I want you to see how much it changes and how far it goes over to the side and then it comes back up. So the water changes its path as we do as well. Water is very powerful at the moment on the earth, so remembering to get in touch with our emotions as well. 
There's a lot of flooding happening, storms in other places. We've had a few storms of our own, but that's normal for this time of year. We're sort of had in the middle of winter, kind of heading towards autumn. No, not autumn, sorry, spring. <laughs> yeah so anyway i'm gonna leave it there everyone thanks so much for listening um yeah i hope you're doing well out there sending you lots of love and a big hug and have a great day and have a great week and i'll catch up with you soon again okay bye for now